Measles outbreak. This disease has now made its way from Washington into Oregon. Today, Governor Jay Inslee declared a public health emergency in all of Washington, and that's after the number of confirmed cases in Clark County jumped up to 30. There's also one case further north in King County, and now one confirmed case in the Oregon side of the Columbia River in Multnomah County. Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz is live at one of the new potential exposure sites in Oregon, and also with recommendations from the Multnomah County Health Department. Sarah? Well, good evening, Liz. The Gresham Troutdale Family Medical Center here is one of four new potential exposure sites. The Multnomah County the Multnomah County Health Department says that it did confirm that case here in Oregon this afternoon, but it's not releasing specific details right now because a spokeswoman says because it's just one case, it is considered protected health information right now. Now, take a look. These are the four exposure sites at Legacy Go Health off of Northeast Gleason Street on January 20th from 9 to 11.30 a.m. Fred Meyer in Wood Village on January 20th from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Gresham Troutdale Family Medical Center on January 23rd from 12.30 to 2 p.m. And Walgreens at 257th and Stark Street on January 23rd from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Now, the Multnomah County Health Department says the person who contracted measles here in Oregon had close contact with someone who had measles in Clark County. The health department says measles is highly contagious, and the department is currently working to figure out who's been around this most recent case and to get them just-in-time medication or a vaccine to prevent them from getting sick if they haven't already been vaccinated. Now, Deputy Health Officer Dr. Jennifer Vines says that her advice, it's important to check your vaccination records to see if you're immune to measles. Vines says most kids get the combination MMR vaccine at age one and then again at four years old. If you're immune to measles, you're done. You have nothing else to worry about. If you're not sure or you know that you're potentially susceptible to measles and can get the disease, um, then we ask you to watch for symptoms. And if you think you have symptoms of measles, uh, contact your health care provider before you go into a clinic so that you don't risk spreading the disease. So measles is a viral illness. Uh, it starts usually with a fever and just feeling poorly. Uh, it goes on to uh, uh, create uh, irritated eyes, runny nose, and a cough. And then people get a very classic rash uh, that usually starts along the hairline on the face and spreads down to the neck and then to the rest of the body. And now if you haven't been vaccinated and you're exposed, Vine says if you get the vaccine within three days of exposure, you are considered protected. Now, anyone with symptoms who believes that they've been exposed and they are not immune to measles, you are asked to not go into a medical office, but instead contact your primary care provider or urgent care over the phone to avoid uh, spreading this illness. Reporting live here in Trout Tale tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.